Okay. And I can see you on my iPad. So wave or holler or unmute yourself. <laughs> if things are if things are not going in the direction you want them to go, but let's start by laying back. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching. So we're finding something that feels good. We were just talking about how maybe not a lot feels great right now with this back, your back in mind, but maybe there's some way to twist to open up. This will be a class two. Again, you're gonna see the red ball behind my head. When I'm teaching and looking at the screen, I rest my head on that ball so I don't do any damage to my neck. But when you see the red ball, that means my head is lifted. So we're just breathing here. Wherever you're at, we're not holding anything in if we can help it. We're letting go of any tension you might be working with here at the start of class. And if it feels good, we're gonna draw knees in and we're just gonna circle around that sacrum or rock side to side. So we can think about that clock. It's not a clock, it's a triangle, but we're trying to hit every hour on that clock around the back side of that sacrum. If you're rocking side to side, your rocks might get a little bit bigger. So we get the outside glue area too. If you're circling, go ahead and reverse your circle. So opposite direction around that clock. And then when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and draw your knees a little bit wider. If wider is okay, draw them in towards your chest. That's going to stretch your back just a little bit more. Just an opportunity here to get into that low back. And we'll slide hands behind the legs now. We're going to kick legs up and down towards the ceiling. So warming up front of the thighs. We get a little stretch through the hamstrings as well. We'll leave them up towards the ceiling. We're just gonna flex and point our toes. And then we're bringing those feet down to the floor. Take a second, wrap your hands around your heart. And if that feels okay, we're gonna to start to rock our head side to side. So we're just slowly looking from one ear to the other. With those arms wrapped around, we're releasing some tension between the shoulder blades and actually that runs up the shoulder blades into the back of the neck. And then we'll reach one arm overhead, one hand down by your side. We're thinking maybe our, our thumbs here, where direction of our thumbs, the one overhead is pointed down, the one by your side is pointed up. We're just gonna scissor switch. Everything else stays on the ground. We're gonna scissor switch. So we'll take an inhale on one of these and an exhale on the other. Inhaling, just warming up, stretching shoulders here. Exhale, two more of these. Inhale, two more sets, I should say. And exhale, one more set. Inhale and exhale. And so this is for my back friends. Both hands go overhead. We're going to slide our heels in fairly close to our bottom. Instead of tucking and peeling, we're going to lift and um, just simply lift your belly up towards the ceiling and hands will come down by your side. So we're going to inhale to lift hips and lower hands down by your side. And then we'll exhale to lower hips, arms reach back up and overhead. So we're going to lift hips, we'll press up towards the ceiling as hands come down and then lower hips, arms overhead. We'll press and lift hips, hands down by your side, and then lowering as arms reach overhead. Lift hips and press, arms up and over two more times. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna lift and lower. And this next time, we're gonna lift hips, hands stay down by your side. We're gonna keep them there. We're gonna press and squeeze inner thighs and then release the squeeze. So we're gonna press squeeze and release. Press squeeze three, release. Press squeeze four, release. Little inner thigh warm up here. Five, in hamstring. And press squeeze six. Press squeeze seven, one more time. Press squeeze eight on your exhale. Do melt down one vertebrae at a time. 
And we're gonna draw one knee into your chest, stretch the other leg nice and long. We'll kick that leg in towards us, up towards the ceiling. So we got a little bit of the splits here. Now, if that is really tugging on your back, you could always bend that opposite leg, that foot on the floor, a little less intense. And we're gonna switch sides. So other knee comes in, kick the leg up. We have all the choices of whether to leave the foot on the floor or foot on the floor, yeah. And, or the leg nice and long, I had to think about that. And then we're gonna bring both feet on the floor, hands slide behind the head. We're gonna really start to warm up that top layer. So no tucking of the tailbone, if we can help it, press your head into your hands. We're gonna exhale, lift to look down at the thighs. We'll inhale, we'll lower back down. We're gonna exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Exhale, draw belly in, pressing head into hands. Inhale, we'll think about all that technique while we're not moving too many parts of our body. We're gonna exhale. Easier to track all of those things when we're only doing one or two parts versus the entire body. We're gonna exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, let's do three more. Exhale, we're being sure to draw that belly in and inhale, we might even keep it in on the inhale. Two more, exhale, lift. Inhale, one more. Exhale, lift, stay lifted. We're gonna go ahead and bring your right knee into tabletop. Once it's there, kick it nice and long so it's a straight leg. We're gonna exhale, we're gonna bend the knee and rotate over towards that knee with that upper body. We inhale, come back through center and we don't lose our height. We're gonna exhale. Inhale, same leg, we'll do this leg five times. Warming up those obliques. Well, and also the tops of the thighs. We're getting all layers here. We're gonna exhale all layers of the abs. Two more. Exhale, rotate. One more. Exhale, rotate. We'll come on back through center, lower that leg down, stay lifted through the upper body. Other leg lifts to 90 degrees. Stretch it long. And we're gonna exhale, rotate five times to that bent knee. Inhale, lengthen leg, come back through center. Exhale, rotate, and inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, two more. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, one more. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, come back through center, lower the leg, lower your upper body, arms reach out into a T. Knees come into 90 degrees, <clears throat> excuse me. So we've got those 90 degrees and we're gonna start to rock side to side. And it's more like we're rocking to stretch the back. So it's not super intentional right yet, quite yet, I should say, right yet, it's very Hoosier. And then we're gonna make it a little bit harder. We're gonna send those hands straight up towards the ceiling. Hands can always come underneath buns too if back is feeling fired up. So try not to let any distance get created between your hands. We're gonna inhale now, we're gonna inhale over to one side. We're gonna exhale to use those abs to come back through center. We inhale over, exhale back through center. Inhaling and exhale, nice stable arms. This is all about those obliques. Inhale and that deepest layer. We use those legs to challenge the abs. Inhale over and exhale. Inhale over. Exhale, last two sets. Inhaling and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more set. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, draw those knees into chest. We're gonna bring those feet to the floor. We're gonna do a little bit with our legs here. So we're gonna send our right leg straight up towards the ceiling. And this is always a spot. You can slide hands underneath buns, especially if back is fired up. Now the left foot's still gonna stay on the floor. Hands underneath buns tucks just a little bit, gives it a little bit of oomph. So we're gonna keep the foot flexed as we lower it towards the floor. And they're gonna point the toe as we lift it back up to perpendicular. So we're gonna inhale, lower the foot. Exhale, slowly lift back up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. 
Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Three more. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Two more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift last time. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift it back up. We're gonna draw that knee in, hang on around that shin, and just rock it inside and out. So we're trying to move it more with the arms than the legs just to relax that whole hip. And then we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna go ahead and bring that foot to the floor, opposite leg reaches up, and again, you can have hands underneath your buns. We're gonna flex the foot. We lower straight leg down. We point to lift back up. So we're gonna inhale lower. We're thinking about low deep abs. Exhale, lifting that leg back up to ceiling. We're gonna inhale lower. Exhale, lift three. Inhale, flex lower. Exhale, point lift four. Inhale, flex lower. Exhale, point lift five, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, six, two more, inhale, lower, exhale, seven, one more time, inhale, lower, exhale, eight, pause here, bend that knee in, wrap those hands around that chin, and just rock that leg inside and out. Our feet come back to the floor. We're going now into our bridging. So we did a little bit of more like solidly holding that pelvis in. Now we're gonna be tucking, peeling and lifting and hoping to affect some of the hamstring and glute. So when you're ready, we're gonna tuck the pelvis. You're gonna to start to peel and we're gonna lift until you reach your top height, which means your rib cage isn't popping and you've got your pubic symphysis higher than your belly. We're gonna melt back down from that upper back, that middle back, that low back and then hips it and we release to neutral pelvis. We're gonna tuck. We're gonna start to peel and lift. Pause at the top. We're trying to take our time here. Exhale, melt back down. When those hips hit, release. Exhale, tuck, peel and lift. We pause at the top, exhale, melt back down. And we'll exhale, tuck, heel and lift. Pause at the top. We're gonna exhale, melt back down. Now this next one, we're gonna stay up there. We're gonna work those glutes a little bit more. So we're gonna tuck, we'll peel and we'll lift. And then we imagine, or we do actually do, squeeze the heck out of your buns, which is gonna lift you maybe just an inch and release the squeeze. So we're gonna squeeze buns and release. Squeeze, release three. Squeeze four. Squeeze five. Squeeze six. Squeeze seven. Squeeze eight. On your next exhale, go ahead and melt back down. We're gonna draw both knees into your chest, kick those legs straight up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna let one leg fall about halfway down towards the mat, and we're gonna walk ourselves up the other leg. We're going into our hamstring pull one. So here we go, we're gonna pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, pulse two, pulse, pulse, pulse three, Pulse, pulse, that second pulse gets closer to you. Pulse, pulse, pulse five, pulse, pulse, pulse six, pulse, pulse, pulse seven, last step, pulse, 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 pause, bend the knee, let that knee come back out into 90 degrees, hands on top of that knee, other leg is hovering, we're gonna switch and reach the leg, scissor switch, reach, switch, reach, and two, switch, reach, three, switch, reach, four, switch, reach, five, switch, reach, six, switch, reach, seven, one more, reach, and eight, hang on behind one thigh, let that propel you up, 
We're gonna sit nice and tall and just take a second in this tall position to either stretch forward or you might lay back on those hands and open that heart center. If you're on those hands, fingertips pointed out to the outside of your mat, just give yourself a little stretch here. You might even shake the head no. And we're gonna sit nice and tall with a little bit of space. I'm maybe, I'm gonna say about a foot between your heels. Hands are gonna reach. We're gonna have thumbs up and shoulders down. We're gonna be peeling our back off a wall. That's really all about your belly. So on your exhale, we're gonna nod the chin. We're gonna to start to pull that belly in and we're gonna to start to peel our back off an imaginary wall. And then we're just gonna restack it on your next exhale. So this is actually a lot like our pelvic curl, just in the reverse direction. So we're gonna take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, nod your chin, pull your belly in, round down. We'll pause there, and then we're gonna restack your spine. Just one more time like this. We're gonna nod our chin, pull your belly in, round your back. And then we're gonna reach for our toes, which that's gonna make us hinge and start to straighten our back. So we can think about long and strong from tailbone to top of head. And we're gonna work the arms just a little bit. So we're gonna lift the arms up towards the ceiling and lower them all the way down to tap the mat. We're gonna exhale to lift and inhale, tap. Exhale, lift and lower 30. Exhale, lift and lower four. Exhale, lift, lower five. Exhale, lift, lower six. Exhale, lift, lower seven. And last time, exhale, lift. Lower the hands, go ahead and restack your spine. We're gonna reach fingertips, just one roll down. We're gonna scoop to roll all the way down. Once we're down, hands slide behind the head, knees come up into 90 degrees. So we've got a couple of levels here. If back's fired up, don't slide hands behind the head and don't lift head. Slide hands behind buns and let your head rest. If you want to fire it up or invigorate, we're going to send those legs straight up towards the ceiling. We're going to lift head and shoulders. We're going to do a double leg lower. So we're going to inhale to lower our legs towards the floor. We're going to exhale to slowly lift back up. So again, head can be lifted. Inhale lower. You're going to see me support that back with hands underneath. And exhale, slowly lift back up. Inhale lower. <clears throat> and exhale lift. Inhale, now your legs might go a lot lower than mine. <laughs> and exhale, mine get really heavy really quick, but yours might not. We're gonna inhale lower. And exhale, three more. Inhale lower. And exhale, two more. Inhale lower. And exhale, one more. Inhale lower. Exhale, slowly lift those legs up, draw your knees in, rest your head down. Both feet come to the floor. Let's take a second, drop knees over to the right side and gaze can go to the left. We're gonna stretch that low back. <clears throat> if you wanna get a little top of the thigh stretch, you can walk your left foot about as wide as your mat and that will help your left knee drop in towards the center. Get you a little nice twist stretch through the front of that thigh and really the outside of the abs. One more breath here. <coughs> Pardon me. We're gonna come on back through center. We're gonna drop on over now to the left side and same idea. You can walk that right foot back just a little bit to the outside of your mat. Give yourself a little extra stretch. Good stuff to release the front of those thighs. We're also going to release the inner thighs, so we'll come back through center. Soles of feet together, knees drop out if butterfly is okay for your hips. If that's not okay, just rock your knees side to side. When you're ready, knees come back through center. Hands come back behind the hood. We have one more round to do here for those abs, or abs are reclining, I should say. We're gonna lift the knees into 90. Go ahead, stretch one leg long, like it's about halfway up the wall. 
We're gonna lift head and shoulders, and we're gonna to start to rotate over towards the bent knee. We're gonna switch and exhale. So we did a version of this at the start. Switch, exhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale. We're going nice and slow. Exhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale, <clears throat> exhale. Two more sets, <coughs> switch. Exhale, I guess it's clearing my throat. Exhale, last one. Exhale, draw knees back through center. Lower your head down. We're gonna bring our feet down to the ground. Let's take your right knee into tabletop. And I just want you to think about a marker on the top of that knee. And we're gonna to start to circle it around. Nothing is holding in. We're not worried about abs. We're just getting a little bit of hip massage here. Now if things are popping or it doesn't feel good, Circle can be smaller, <clears throat> or you could go back to butterfly knees and just hang out there. Reverse your circle, five in the other direction. It's a nice way to hopefully, after some of that stabilization with those legs, that we get a little bit looser through that leg. Bring that foot down and just give it a good little drop out to the side. So my left knee stays up towards the ceiling, my right knee is dropping out to the right side. We'll draw it back through center, and then we're gonna switch sides. So left knee comes up, and we start to circle it again. Not worried about abs, holding in. It goes as big or as small as it makes sense for the feedback you're getting. <laughs> when you're ready, reverse your circle five in the other direction. And then we're gonna bring that foot down and we drop the left knee out. So right leg stays put up towards the ceiling, left knee drops out. We're gonna bring those feet back to center. We'll kick our legs nice and long. Arms reach overhead. Let's get one lengthening full body stretch before we go into some more seated work with our arms. And you can either roll up or you can roll to your side to come on up to sit. So it's really kind of what makes sense for you. So I'm gonna sit with crisscross. You are welcome to sit with straight legs and typically this is done with straight legs, but right now straight legs is a little bit killer for my back. So I'm gonna be crisscross. We're gonna take our hands and we're gonna bring them out into 90 degree elbows. So 90 degree elbows. And we think about those shoulders, maybe our elbows dropping just a little bit lower than the shoulders, yeah. So when you're ready, we're gonna twist in one direction. We're gonna exhale to fully twist. And then we'll inhale, we'll come back through center. And we imagine maybe that we have a dowel rod through our chest out to our arms. So our arms can't really swing around, no wrinkles in front of those sleeves or skin of your shoulders. We're gonna twist and come back through center. And exhale, twist. So we're ringing out here. We're working those obliques again. So those muscles that turn us right and left, those ab muscles. And we're now working some back extensors. We're gonna exhale, twist. Those muscles in the back that help us sit upright. Exhale, twist, and also back bend, which is where we're headed next. <laughs> we're gonna do uh, two more sets or two and a half. Come back through center and twist, center. Twist. One last set. Exhaling, twist and center. Twist and center. We're going to pause here. Let your hands come down by your side. Give your shoulders a nice little rounding. We're going to go into letter V legs. So, letter V legs, if it's okay, the first thing we're going to do is just stretch. We're reaching through that center. If that doesn't feel good, you can sit nice and tall, no need to bend forward. And then we're gonna rise up. And we're gonna take our hands just either right in front of our forehead or on top, uh, fingertips on top of shoulders. This is a little less intense in shoulders, a little bit more intense in shoulders. We're gonna twist towards your right foot. Once you get there, you're gonna take your left elbow down to your left knee, your thigh, or it aims in that direction. Stay in your twist as you rise back up. So your gaze stays on your left, or sorry, your right leg. And then we're gonna come back through center. 
So we'll twist. Yeah. And then take your right elbow to your right knee. There you go. I'm going to be opposite here. And then we're going to rise up and come back through center. It'd be helpful if I could tell my right from my left. We're going to twist. I will bring the left elbow to the left knee. We rise up and come back through center. Oh, twist. Right elbow to right knee. We rise up and come out. So we're going to twist towards the right left elbow to left knee. And then we're going to rise back up. And last time we're going to twist left, right elbow to right knee. And then right back up. Hands come on down by your side. Let those shoulders roll. Then we're going to use this as a nice stretch for our low back. So we're going to twist towards one leg. Doesn't matter which one. And we're going to saw off that baby toe. We're going to stay there. And we're gonna see if we can keep the opposite hip on. So for instance, on your screen, I'm reaching towards my right leg. So I'm trying to keep my left hip and my left bun cheek on. Then we're gonna rise up and we're gonna twist opposite leg and reach. Same idea, I'm trying to keep that bun cheek, the opposite bun cheek on. So this is gonna stretch that low back a little bit of QL stretch. Well, maybe even hopefully getting a little bit of the hamstring. We're gonna rise back up. We're gonna sit crisscross. So crisscross is comfortable. A gentle twist to your right. So we're upright and twisting to our right. We wanna stretch those extensors before we get going here in some back bending. And then we'll come on back through center. And a gentle twist to your left. And then we're gonna come on back through center. We're gonna get ready to lay on our bellies. We're gonna start by stretching the neck. So we're gonna come to our bellies and rest on one cheek with hands either down by your side or even interlaced at your low back. So resting on a cheek, hands either interlaced at your low back or resting down by your side. And then just switch cheeks. And then we're gonna go ahead and come through center, hands slide down by your side. We're gonna lift our nose just so it's hovering. When we get ready to do this upper back, we're thinking about the bottom of the shoulder blades. We'll lengthen the arms, they start to hover. We're gonna inhale up and over those bottom shoulder blades and then we'll exhale lower. You can let your hands lower. We just leave that nose hovering so we don't smush it. We're gonna inhale lift and exhale lower. Inhale that. Exhale, lower, working this upper back. Inhale lift. Right across that mid back. Exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale lift. Exhale, lower. <clears throat> Two more. Inhale lift. <coughs> Excuse me again. Exhale, one more time. Inhale lift. As you exhale, pick a cheek. Rest down, sit your feet wide, give them a good little wiggle. We're going to switch cheeks, other cheek rests to stretch that neck. And then we'll come back through center. We're going to stack our hands right underneath our forehead. And this time we're going to work the legs. So we're going to work both legs at the same time. But the goal here is to get long legs, not necessarily high off the ground legs. So we're gonna lengthen it through the toes and tighten the front of our thighs, and then we're gonna lift our legs off. So long legs, we're trying not to get the bend in the knee. 
We pretend we can't bend and we're gonna to start to kick the feet. So it's straight, strong legs kicking with the belly drawing away from the mat. And it might be pretty small kicks, especially if we're trying not to get that knee to bend. It might be that they don't really get much kicking at all, but the legs stay nice and straight. And then we're gonna to pause to lower those legs down, give your hips a bit of a wiggle. And then we've got some choices here. Hands can either be out in your 90 degrees and do a slow swim. They can be overhead and also do a slow swim. You can be paddling quickly with hands and feet or go super slow where you're lifting opposites, meaning an arm and the opposite leg. So when you're ready, you're gonna get ready to do your swimming. So whatever that may be, I'm gonna go nice and slow and do opposites. You might go fast. We're trying to find length through the top of the head and toes, strong arms, and of course, strong back. We're gonna be swimming for one more breath round. And then when you're ready, go ahead, lower down, hands come down by your sides and your feet at least as wide as your mat, rest on a cheek. So we're gonna release that back. And then we'll switch cheeks. And then we're gonna to come to our elbows. So elbows right underneath shoulders, hands clasping. We're gonna let our belly stretch here for a second. Then we're gonna get into a little bit of holding that belly in pretty deeply. So push the mat away from you with your elbows. So it's like you're trying to push away. We're solidifying shoulders. And I'm even going to tuck my tailbone just a little bit so I can pull my belly away from the mat. My legs are going to be doing the work here. I'm going to end up kicking my bottom twice with a leg and then extending. Now your goal is not to wiggle through that upper torso while you're holding all this position. If you want to add one more difficulty into it, we're going to flex and point the foot when we tap the bottom. So pick a leg, press away, draw your belly in. Here we go. We're going to flex, point, and lengthen that leg. Flex, point, and lengthen another leg. Flex, point, reach. Flex, point, reach. Here comes the fast. Flex, point, reach. Flex, point, reach. Flex, point, reach. Flex, point, reach, flex, point, reach, flex, point, reach, flex, point, reach. Last one, flex, point, and pause. Go ahead and let those elbows, if they aren't already right underneath your underarms, we're going to tuck our toes. We're going to press back into what we call in yoga is part of our swimming dolphin. So my buns are up towards the ceiling. My heels are dropping towards the floor. I'm pressing through those elbows and forearms to hold myself here. And of course, we can draw that belly in. We're gonna shift between this and plank. So I'm gonna walk my feet back just a little bit. We're gonna come into an elbow plank, and then we're gonna press hips back up towards the ceiling. So we'll come in elbow plank, press hips. Elbow plank. Press hips, two more. Elbow plank. Press hips, one more. Elbow plank. Press hips, come down to knees. Let's take a second. Back in child's pose. If child's pose is okay. You can have hands down by your side if that feels better. If child's pose doesn't feel okay, just elbows and knees. Come to tabletop. We're going to do one for stretch and one for strength. So we're getting ready to do some side planks. Our first one for stretch, we're going to leave the knee on. So I'm going to have you just rotate to the long edge of your mat. One foot is just going to stay on. It's going to swing behind you. The other leg is nice and long. We're going to reach the arm over the head. 
So my goal here is to press as hard as I can into my foot and reach as far as I can with my fingertips. So I'm getting this whole side body stretch from pinky finger to pinky toes. If it bugs your neck, you can always look down at that mat. We're gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna turn away from you. We'll kick that bottom knee out, foot goes out, arm reaches overhead while we press that long leg in. Just some length after all of what we've been doing, which is not just compression, but of course strengthening. Just reminding that body it can stretch. We'll come back down to tabletop. So it's an option to do exactly what we just did on both sides. If you want to up it a notch, we're going to go into our side plank where we go first into a plank, and then we turn our toes and we reach the arm, no knee on. So you're welcome to do that or have the knee down, side plank. We'll hold it for about three breaths. When you've done your three breaths, we're gonna switch. You can breathe really fast too. <laughs> and then when we've done both sides for three breaths, we come down, we'll press back into child's pose. Child's pose just to release that back, to release those shoulders. Then we're gonna rise back up. We're gonna do a little bit further core work here in our tabletop position, also a balance. So when you're ready, we're gonna kick our right foot behind us, but toes stay on. Because what we're trying to find here is our push-up position where we're pressing the mat away from us, slightly softened elbows. Remember, we can lock out those elbows and do nothing for triceps. Slightly softened elbows working a lot harder. We're gonna draw the belly in and lift the leg. That leg stays hovering, and we see if we can take the opposite arm. The left fingertips lock out, or the left arm reaches with the thumb up. When you're ready, you're gonna exhale, bring elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen back out. Exhale, draw in. We'll do each side five times. Inhale. So we're still pushing that mat away from us. So my shoulder, the hand that's on the floor, my right hand, working hard here to keep pressing my shoulder up towards the ceiling. We've got one more to go. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, lengthen, hold there. See if you can hold that balance. Keep pressing away, keep pulling your belly in. And then knees come down, hands come down. Give your tail feathers a little wiggle and whatever else needs a little bit of shake. Keep pressing hands in, extend the left leg, left toe stay on the floor. Pull your belly in. We lift the left leg without rotating the hips. We extend the right arm, maybe fingertips stay on or thumb can lift up towards the ceiling. Micro soften that left arm, but keep pressing that shoulder into the ceiling as we exhale, draw me and inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw in, inhale, reach two. Exhale, draw in, reach three. Exhale, draw in, reach four, one more time. Exhale, draw in, reach five. Come on down to knees, come down to elbows, and if you clasp your hands, and then we're gonna drop our head. This looks a lot like our melting heart from yin. Those clasped hands reach behind your head. So really all that's on the floor is the point of your elbows, and of course your knees and shins. And we're letting our belly drop towards the floor with weight. So we're stretching some of the stuff we just engaged to get that work done. Also inviting the belly to stretch again. When you're ready, we're gonna flip over and have a seat. So we're gonna have a seat with long legs. We're getting ready to do really the opposite of our planks or our front support and go into what we call back support. So we're gonna have fingers aiming out towards the sides of our mat. We might have them wide as our mat or even wider, especially if it 
You tend to round forward with those shoulders if it's tough to press into palms. So from here, I'm just gonna press in, lengthen through my head. Think about the length from the tailbone to the top of the head. We're gonna make some decisions. We either lift straight up from here into a straight back support or a back plank, or we bend in softened knees and we go into a reverse tabletop. It's up to you. Straight legs or reverse tabletop. I'm gonna stick with reverse tabletop today. We're gonna lift up. So we're using those arms and core to support us. We're just holding here and breathing. Do your best to squeeze your buns like we did in our bridge pose. We're squeezing buns. We've got our thighs nice and parallel. Arms are supporting us. When you're ready, hips come down. We're gonna slide our hands behind our thighs and we're gonna find that length and spine. So back is fired up, stay put here. If you wanna go into that next level, we go into a teaser with shins parallel to the floor. If that bugs your back, feet stay on the floor. If you wanna fire it up, don't hang on. <laughs> that teaser. We're gonna bring feet down. We're probably gonna scooch a little bit closer to the front of our mat. We're gonna get ready to roll like a ball without worrying about abs or without worrying about balancing. So this is spinal massage where we're rolling back and then you're gonna roll back up. Now this is not one I can do. Yours is gonna look a lot better. You're gonna to inhale to roll back and exhale up. Inhale, roll back, exhale, back up. Two more, inhale and exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Pause here, bring the soles of the feet together back down to the mat, round forward. Stretch those inner thighs. Okay, this next one is a big power move. <laughs> We're gonna come back to hands and knees. So we're, this is actually a power yoga move, but it's one of my favorite core moves for um, Pilates. And so I'm just gonna demonstrate it really quickly. It may not be familiar to us. We'll press back into our down dog and I'm gonna use my left leg. So I'm gonna just let my left leg hover. I come into plank for bringing my left elbow to the outs or left knee to the outside of my elbow. I come back through, I bring it to center, come back through and I bring it to my right elbow and come back through and then switch sides. All right, so we've got our down dog. <laughs> when you're ready, pick a foot, let it hover. Doesn't matter which one. I've got my right leg out, so I'm gonna go to my right elbow first when I come into a plank. I press it back. I draw it right through center, as if I could get it between my elbows, and press it back. And then I draw it to my opposite elbow and press it back. You're gonna do the other side now. So lifting and drawing to the same elbow. So you'll draw in and extend back out. Draw through center, extend back out. One more time. Draw opposite elbow, extend back out. Go ahead, bring feet down, knees down, wide knee. Child's pose, toes together, knees wide, arms reach through. And this might be also a space where you just press your palms together and rest them behind your head. That tends to protect the shoulders just a little bit more. That's a tough one. That's one of my favorites. And I know you like planks. So that's always a fun one to include for planks. When you're ready, we're gonna rise back up. Tabletop, come have a seat with your right shin on the outside. So our right shin is on the outside. We're gonna twist towards our left knee and we're gonna let ourselves fold over that knee. We might even make it to the floor, just depends here. Getting that side body stretch. Hopefully a little low back stretch. 
We're gonna walk ourselves without rising up through center. That may or may not stretch much of our piriformis, just kind of depends on how tight we are on that side. And then we'll walk ourselves up. And before we switch, we're gonna do a gentle twist to the right. So gently twisting to the right. And then we'll come on back through center. We're gonna switch now, left shin on the outside. We'll twist towards that right thigh and fold over. And we go just as far as we can go. So it might be that your palms are on, you might be resting with your hands on your thigh. You might have elbows all the way down to the ground. And then we walk through center. And maybe some piriformis here. We're gonna rise back up. We're gonna gently twist to the left, a little counter stretch here. Then we'll come back through center. Big exaggerated shoulder rolls or shrugs. So it's up to you whether you wanna roll or shrug. You can reverse it. And we'll do one last stretch here. Slide hands behind the back. Drop in your two shoulder, doesn't matter which shoulder. We'll roll across the collarbones over to the other shoulder. And roll. One more time and roll. Took my hair down right at the wrong time, didn't it? We're gonna come on back through center, give it a good little shimmy and a little bit of shoulder wiggle. I'm gonna turn off our recording.